uh, still not unanimous. Let's see what we said. We said big vote for answer seven, which is zero, and a big vote for uh, answer five, positive Z. Well, magnetic fields obey superposition, just like electric fields. You add them up as vectors to get a net magnetic field. So we can find the magnetic field of the top wire and the magnetic field of the bottom wire. For the top wire, we have capital I going that way. And here's the observation location. Again, take your pick. You can either say I delta L cross R, which points downward. Just pick a segment in there, and they're all going to be the same direction. I delta L cross R hat, thumb points out due to wire at the top. We'll call this 1. This is B1. Wire at the bottom. I capitalized that way, R is that way, fingers in the direction of capital I, curl them towards the observation location, thumb points, out, yep. So when I add those two together, I'm going to get a net magnetic field that points out. Other way you can think about it, if I put my thumb in the direction of capital I, I have to think, imagine curling my fingers all the way behind the wire until my fingertips reach the other side, because that's where my observation location is, right? If I wrap my fingers all the way around, when they reach that point, the fingertips are pointing out, right? If I do the same here, I, pointing in the direction of my thumb, curl my fingers all the way around until I you know, wrap them around the wire and they're pointing out when they reach that side. Okay, so both are going to give me a, a magnetic field in the same direction. If I if one of those would, was flipped, what would be the answer? Zero, right? If they were both in the same direction, convert currents in the same direction, they would be zero. Uh, 